The house at the side of Port Union Road may seem sort of modest, but the goals and hopes of those who come here are anything but. It's remembering that a young person is a young person, regardless of the background, regardless of where they may come from, and all young people are in need of support, encouragement, and even mentorship. Ronaldo Wall heads up the Community Services Program here at Fernie Youth, a charity that primarily works with youth and young adults who are coming out of the justice system, providing transitional support such as safe housing, drives to important appointments, relearning life skills, all key here. Because of the length of time that they've been in jail, uh, sometimes a lot of things have changed. Um, there's a lot of things, there's, a lot of them are already facing barriers before they went into jail. Now those barriers are increased because they now have uh, this record. And so uh, what we try to do is we try to eliminate as many barriers as possible. The organization has a social enterprise component too called Fernie Works. It's a full service lawn care company. It takes a lot of courage to um to reach out to us and say that you're stuck and, and need some help. I admire that from, from the, the crew that I work with. They, we've had great wins and uh, good days and bad days, really. Like so many other parts of the organization, program coordinator Nolan Broom says it's about imparting transferable skills. Whether it's just commitment, just making sure you're waking up and, and, and in uniform, coming in on time and willing to put your best foot forward, take direction, work as a team. And then you actually have the, uh, the lawn maintenance skills. So the techniques involved with the equipment, small maintenance and repairs with the equipment, safety and security of loading and unloading. One of the things uh, I see as a huge opportunity is to really help people that have a, a criminal record get into uh, well-paying jobs. Fernie Works is the type of training that Ontario's Labour Minister says he's been trying to see expanded, noting trades jobs often have high wages and benefits. There's a real sense of purpose uh, to these careers and that's why we're focusing on you know driving that message home to parents, to young people, to guidance counsellors that these are uh, great careers and not every single young person has to go to university to be successful. They've been pretty good. They've been actually really good to me personally and to the other new um, teammates that came in, you know, they're actually trying to help, you know, they understand the, the situation we're coming from. 19-year-old Corey Hypolite has been at Fernie since January after being caught up in the legal system. He's been with Fernie Works this summer. The transition was a little, it was a little rough because I didn't know what I was getting into, but then once we started with the uh, cutting the lawns and stuff, then everything just got better, it got easier. On the streets of West Hill and surrounding areas like Highland Creek, the white and orange pickup truck can be seen darting to homes and other properties. The day I caught up with the Fernie Works crew, they arrived at a church for a regular service call. Definitely when you make nice stripes and lawns, when you edge up a lawn real nice, it looks it looks really good. And I like actually, I like, I like getting in the truck, looking at a property and saying, wow, I made that person's house look nice. 19-year-old Scarborough resident Aaron Flannery joined the program last year after seeing an ad on a job website. He doesn't have a criminal history. In fact, the criminology student wants to get into law enforcement. This program is really good for kind of opening my eyes on what it's like coming out of the criminal justice system for sure. It's not just prison and you're out, it's more rehabilitation and helping these guys out, learn skills, learn work ethic, and just learn to be just a uh, good part of the community. He's worked his way up to crew lead, learning how to drive the truck and trailer, as well as work to support other participants. I came in the interview and I was like, ooh, I don't know, I'm working with, you know, kind of kind of criminals coming out of the out of the system. And then I realized everyone has their own story. Everyone's the same. So we'll just, if you see somebody, don't judge them. Just think of them as yourself. Corey Hypolite has learned how to use the zero turn mower, trimmers, and push mowers in his eight months. It makes you feel good. You come here, you see a property that needs cleaning up, it needs help, and then when you're done, you leave, you see the property looking way better, you feel better, you feel accomplished, you feel like you did something. The 19-year-old, who said he was at a point where he wanted to make better decisions before joining, is now thinking about getting into business for himself. The best thing you can do is find stability, you know? Stability is something that would help you get a clear head on what you want to do with your life. And uh, this, like, for any works, it gives you that, that option to have that stability, to go to work, make make some money, and then, you know, you can do what you need to do. Nolan Broom says the crew has learned how to do core aerations, overseedings, leaf collection, cutting, and trimming. They'll come out on a one-time basis, bi-weekly, or weekly. Meanwhile, he and Corey have a message for potential employers and the public about anyone coming out of the program. I know 
maybe youth get painted a certain way you know they're on their phones a lot they're not they're, they're late they're lazy or something like that but if that's not the case they're you know they came to us and we just we just provided the opportunity and the platform and they're the ones that are running this business so uh take a chance you won't regret it as employers like sometimes they actually just need to give some of us a chance you know because we, we just need a little push forward to get where we need to go most of the time we don't get that and that's where the downfall happens and we get tangled back up in the system for more on this program head to citynews.ca in scarborough nick westall city news